Hi guys, my name is Sarah. Welcome to my channel. I am working today on a 16 by 16 inch canvas. I've taped off the back and I've also sprayed the back of the canvas to tighten it like a drum. Now we are going to be doing a acrylic straight pour today using, well, let's see, eight paints uh, or eight colors for that matter. I have Golden's Prussian Blue, leaves a mound on a mound. I have Turquoise Deep, again, a mound on a mound. I have Golden's Manganese and a mound on a mound as well. And then finally, I have Liquitex heavy bodied paint and it's called Brilliant Yellow Green. And with this, I added a little bit of Golden's Green Gold to um, deepen it a little bit. So those are my solid colors as well as a white. I have my white. Um, here I have Extreme Sheen Blue Topaz, Sky Blue Topaz, I believe it is. And this is Art Minds Metallic Sapphire Leftover Paint. And then this is Extreme Sheen Champagne, but what I did was um, I had an old cup of 24K gold, about that much in it, and I put it in here to brighten it so it wasn't so washed out looking. Although I love champagne, but this is a really great color when you mix it. Um, I didn't want gold gold per se in this piece. Um, so I decided to go with a more muted, warm beige, whatever it might be. <laughs> All right, so we are gonna start layering the cup here and we're gonna start with a wee bit of white. Now everything that's, all the layers on the bottom of the cup are going to be the center of the piece. So you can definitely um, adjust your colors accordingly to what you would like in this general area. The colors at the top of the, cap, the cup will obviously spread out and go over. So with that being said, we've got the white. I think I want to do a little bit of this champagne gold mix. And I'm gonna come in with some of the green mix. And let's do some manganese. Mm. Turquoise deep. Come in with a little bit of white. All right. In with some Prussian blue to add a little bit of depth. Certainly hope I know what I'm talking about. Some manganese. I come in with this sky blue topaz. And I want to also come in with the metallic sapphire. Now up next, we're gonna go with the green mix and greens can take over a pour as can turquoises. So, you don't necessarily want that to happen. And don't want to use too much of 
the extreme sheens because they also can take over a pore. I'll come back in with some of this green. And we're gonna finish off with some white. So that is our cup, beautiful layers going on in there. And move these paints out of the way. And we are going to pour. So let's put a little white here in the center. Come in. Well, we're going to have to fix that. <laughs> there we go. Now that is beautiful. And I like what I'm seeing so far. if we can bring you guys in on camera. That is so pretty. And I love what's going on over in here. So we'll try and preserve maybe some of that. I'm not sure though, it is a little close. So we're gonna bring you guys back out. Now here. Hi, I'm actually gonna put the rest of the black that I have. I don't want to flood it, but there we go. And we'll spread out the floor extender. Okay, so we are gonna give it one more torch before we start stretching. I just mixed up these paints, so I do have a lot of air bubbles. All right, so we're gonna recenter this. All right, let's get down to business. Here we go.
I love what's going on over here, although I don't think I'm going to be able to preserve it. Nope. <laughs> Right now, all I can do is hear Karen in my head saying, no bikini corners, which is really quite cute. These paints are a bit thinner than I had initially thought. But we will make something of this. Just gonna keep on stretching this one out as it needs it. I don't like the manganese on the edge there. Yeah, there we go. Mm. I'm just gonna come off of here. I like that area, but sort of doesn't flow with the rest of the composition. Neither does anything else. I'm really not digging the center. So let's see here. I think this screams for another cup. Maybe. I do love what's going on over here. And this in here is really pretty color-wise. I think I'm just gonna stretch it all out. Let's, let's stretch it out and see where that leaves us because there is quite a bit of paint on this piece. actually love this. Wait a minute. Let's look at this again. I take my gloves off. I love all of this. I wonder if I should bring this off. These colors in here are beautiful. So I'm kind of digging it. Um, I'm gonna bring it back just a smidge that way. So I'm gonna bring you guys in. I just don't wanna lose any of what's going on in here or here. If I add another cup, it would cover some of these little funky boulders, but when this dries, it's gonna be so beautiful with the um, different metallics in here. And I love how this warms up to the manganese right to uh, the turquoise deep. So I'm gonna bring you guys in. See, so, you now I'm digging it just like that. And it just looks like an underwater cave of some sort and the light is shining through. So. I think that might actually be the orientation, but let's check out what I was looking at. All right, guys. So like I said just a few moments ago, I really think the uh, upside down orientation is where I'm going to keep this at as I walk around. Um, yeah, I love that orientation and it actually looks pretty cool this way too. So we'll have to wait and see um, 
and go from there. But I love this piece and I'm happy with the results. And I'm glad I stretched out that center. The center was just throwing me off a bunch, but bringing it off this edge really opened up the green, uh, the green gold, uh, green yellow, green gold mix. And uh, yeah. All right, guys, let me know what you think. I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace.